The Eastern Conference Finals. One step away from the opportunity of immortality. On one side, the Boston Celtics, a team that had the same aspirations a few seasons ago, but the portrait was completely different. Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, Rajon Rondo, but eventually they had to disband the team, and as a result of their, their culture, their ability to put a winning product on the floor, it hasn't taken them long to get back to these heights. It also helped that the Sacramento Kings sucked. And on the other side, I don't frickin' know, man. You want to tell me how the Knicks got here? Because I can't tell you. They're 39 and 43. They are under 500. Brandon Jennings is their point guard. The guy who thinks he's Kobe Bryant. And then J.R. Smith. What is this? Carmelo Anthony's like 33? The Latvian gangster, coined by Michael Rapport. Perzingis? The zinger? The Knicks are the seventh seed. They're on a crazy run at the moment. New Yorkers are going wild. The Celtics and the Knicks. I don't know. This should be a wash for us, right? This should be easy. Well, here we are. And does anybody think that Kristaps Porzingis has any chance of defending DeMarcus Cousins? You see how quickly he got into the paint? I mean, look at Porzingis. He's a good dude. He's pretty decent, actually. But he's a toothpick compared to DeMarcus Cousins, okay? That's Boogie right there. Already an 8-0 lead, and Avery Bradley playing some defense. Of course, that's his calling card. That's why he's here. And he comes out of nowhere to get a basket for us. I just, I thought he was going to be open at the three-point line. Turns out the guy wants to score a layup. So we're already up 10-0. Are you surprised? Like, come on. We just went through the Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay, nice, nice brand, James. You got one basket. Good for you. That's fantastic. We're going to get this playoff here. We're just going to keep it going. Right down to Marcus Smith. Did that just hit J.R. Smith in the back? Hold on. That really just happened? Oh, well, it's fine. Okay, Przingis, you got your basket. It's cool. All right. Forget that even happened. Weird stuff happens in the NBA. DeMarcus, you hit the side of the backboard. I had to pause the game. I was so surprised. Are you kidding me right now? Did the Knicks just get back into this game? Oh, well. And, oh, great. That was DeMarcus Cousins' second foul. So suddenly, it seems that the Knicks have some life. And partly it might just be because of some annoying stuff, but it's happening. I'm trying to get the ball to Jay Crowder because he's got Brandon Jennings on him. But the Latvian gangster. The zinger. Przingis. With the block. Mello the foul. And now I'm starting to think... This might not be as easy as I thought it was going to be. Now granted, some weird things have happened. And we're leaving Przingis completely wide open. Thank God that didn't drop or I... Probably would have thrown my controller at the wall. So we gotta get something. Oh, Eric Gordon's wide open. That's about as automatic as it gets. Whenever he's open, I'm just like, well, that's gonna go in. His release is deceptively a little weird, even though it looks very normal, but it still goes in the majority of the time. This is all good. And Marcus Smart has really become a leader for us this season, as we know. Drives inside there, gets the bucket and the foul. Keeping us in the game against the New York Knicks. And so, third quarter now, down four points. I still can't believe it. I'm still shell-shocked. But it's cool because, god damn it, Boogie just got his fourth foul. Oh, boy. You want to know how frustrated I was when playing this game? Not frustrated at all, it's a video game. But, if I was like six years younger than I am now, I would have been pretty damn mad. We're down seven points. This ain't good. But once again, I told y'all, Mark is smart, okay? How much can be said about his improvement for us? Hitting that jumper there, but then hold on. Remember I tell you, one of the best defensive point guards in the league, you can't fall asleep. You can't fall asleep against Marcus. Ooh, Brandon Jennings, what are you doing? Marcus Smart, keeping us in these games. And so going into the third quarter, Fourth quarter, excuse me. Two points. Unless Eric Gordon hits that. No, he doesn't. Two point game. 
We're still losing to the Knicks. I thought it was going to be a blowout. I'll just be honest. Didn't we all think that? But hey, you know what? If they want to give us an actual battle, I'll take it. But Amir Johnson just headbutted that. If he didn't get that, I would have been so pissed. And it's a tie game. We tied it up. We had to fight to tie it up against the New York Knicks. But I'll take it. It's okay. I'm not afraid of John Henson at all. And not really Alex Len either. Boogie the rebound. He's back in the game, by the way. Hopefully now he doesn't punch anybody in the face so I can leave him in there. And since DeMarcus really hasn't gotten his, uh, his fix in this game, let's just feed him the ball. Should that pass have worked? Maybe not, but it's okay. The CPU is not trying to turn around when I make that pass. And why did Alex Len pass that ball, by the way? Eric Gordon the other way? Very good. We're starting to get it rolling. Okay, DeMarcus is in the game. We're feeling a little better about ourselves. The Knicks are finally realizing they're the Knicks and Boogie once again. My friends, I present to you DeMarcus Cousins in the Eastern Conference Finals wearing a Boston Celtics jersey. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? By the way, DeMarcus in real life, uh, can you guys keep losing so you demand a trade because you guys are starting to win and it kind of freaks me out. Anyway, double team, Mello, I can't let you hit that shot. I'm just, I'm sorry, buddy. I love you, but just can't let you do it. And now just a minute left in the game, and this is where things start to get a little weird is the uh, best way to put it. Brzingis falls down, I don't know how. I should have went in for the layup, I just decided to go with the jump shot with Marcus Smart. Hey, he was open for a second, right? And then Brandon Jennings hits a shot going through to Marcus Cousins. That's okay, Isaiah just plays some def... Really? Okay. So the New York Knicks are a bit more of a thorn in my side than I thought they were gonna be. However, we still have the lead, we still get to play the free throw game, so unless they score right now, game one will go to us. Now watch out for Brandon Jennings because he's basically Michael Jordan at this point. Alex Len taking the shot? Okay. I will gladly accept that. So we win game one. That being said, Knicks were pretty damn good. Gotta give it to them. We got off to a 10-0 lead early in the first. Still, gave us a good game. I was surprised. 